Hello and uh, welcome back. Just a quick one today. I want to install uh, over voltage surge protection into my main switchboard fuses here. Um, this is a type 2 and uh, it protects against indirect lightning strikes but also over voltage protection and the last one is why I want to install this. I want to protect my sensitive equipment but also just all my home appliances. We have a lot of uh, solar panels around, all my neighbors here. But also we have a lot of electrical cars around and uh, it kind of congests the network of electricity and well, it can cause outages, but I also read in the paper it can give you uh, little peaks of voltage which can damage your uh, equipment or what if there is a failure and uh, the neutral wire somehow gets loose. Then because I have three phase, it can go up to 400 volts and it will absolutely damage my equipment because we should have around 230 volts and sometimes it's a lot higher. Well, this over voltage protection is about uh, 275 volts and also with the lightning, it is not like a fuse. What it does, it um, it's on parallel on your uh, on your main switch and um, the over voltage will be diverted to the protected earth and probably when it's a lot it probably just blows your main fuse but at least you are protected at that time but little peaks will just be diverted and nothing happens so we need to find a nice spot for it you connect it with uh, six squares or more and it needs to be within 50 centimeters of the protected earth and as close as possible to the main switch if your house is about uh, 20 years old your fuse box will probably look a little bit like this maybe in the newest in the latest house installations probably the surge protector is already installed because of all the solar panels but 20 years ago that was not the case i started only with uh, with the right part here when i had one phase 60 amps and later I switched over to uh, 3 times 25 and then I added this side. Uh, I have some space here for the surge protector, so it probably goes there. But everything is between this 50 centimeters, so that is no uh, problem. If you have an older house, it probably looks like this. Well, still, you probably can manage to put that surge protector in. And I think it would be a smart thing to do because the surge protector costs about 150 euros. But if you damage all your electrical equipment, I don't think you want to calculate those numbers. If you are not familiar with the fuse boxes in Europe, in uh, probably in the Netherlands and Germany, they pr sort of look the same. This is uh, ABB brands, but you also have the Holec. And it's all quite modern and organized. In France, you have a lot more fuses because their air free outlet has its own fuse. But here in the Netherlands and I think in Germany, you have the central system, quite sort of a string through the house. So I took out the covers. Of course, if you're not an electrician, you probably should not uh, do this yourself. But even when you hire, need to hire someone, it's probably a good thing to do this. Um, you can see it's pretty organized these uh, fuse boxes here um, I will probably install it here very close by to the main connection I will take it here from my main switch connect it directly to the church protector here and uh, I need a big earth protected earth well I have my rail here on the top so I can just connect it directly here we can see here a big one coming from the network but also we have here two that go here to the connection below Okay, that is almost finished. Update the documentation and of course put the sticker that it is over voltage protection. 
done. Yes, about those types. I am installing a type 2, and why do we do that? Well, the type 1 is usually if you have a huge factory with your own uh, lightning uh, rod, as it is here, then you want the type 1 first. But if you have a normal house, then the type 1 and the lightning rod is probably in your local transformer or in the switchboard of your neighborhood. And then it is enough to have a type 2 here, just as I am installing. And the type 3 is usually those special power plugs. A type 3 could look something like this, it's just those uh, sockets, but then it's especially made for, uh, for computers, usually sensitive equipment, this is not a type 3, but it could be, look like this, they could be bigger, and it's just, it has filtering, and then you find on the back it says it's a type 3. So in my case, the type 1 is somewhere in the neighborhood in the big transformer, I hope, and then everything that is not caught by, uh, by the type 1 will now be caught with my type 2, but the type 2 also does the over voltage, and I'm not sure how they do it, well for lightning it's easy, you have two metal pins and then it will just uh, spark from one pin to the other pin, but the over voltage is maybe done with a very strong uh, triax and it will just short circuit to, to ground, and then if it is for a short period that is okay, but if it's for a longer period, Probably the, the main fuses will uh, trip. Those are also automatic in my house, too. so the power is cut and you are protected. So that's it. It's very easy to install your SPD. You can do it within an hour and all your equipment is protected, or at least better protected than when you not have one. So uh, it might be something you could consider. Thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.